Hi, and welcome to another lesson in our SolarWorks training tutorials. In this lesson, we're going to have a look at the rack and pinion mate and how we use it for relating rotation and translation. This can apply to a gear and rack relationship or to any conveyor operation such as a roller feed or a wheel rolling on a surface. So let's get into it. Okay, so if you open up the rack and pinion from lesson one case study rack and pinion mate folder, you get this. So there's just a couple of parts in this. And the first thing you needed is the appropriate tangent relationship between the spur gear and the rack. With this a simple wheel resting on a surface, that'll be easy. But with gear teeth, we must use the pitch circle. We can't mate tangent to a pitch circle, but the next best thing would be a distance mate from the center or spur gear to the pitch line of the rack. The pitch line is the construction line through the middle of the tooth cup and the pitch diameter is 152. So the distance to mate is 76. So let's do that little distance mate then. So mate and distance mate. And if we pick that and it's actually this line running horizontal. So just make sure you pick that. Correct line. And we're going to turn our 76 there. And click OK on that. So now you have to line up these teeth. So this is just a little bit of sort of using your best judgment. So line up that. We have that there. We could kind of try try to line that up, but you have to actually have it floating like that. So we just kind of put approximately. Then if I select mechanical mates and select rack and pinion. And the rack is this and I'm really just looking for any straight edge on this. So I'll select the bottom edge on that on the rack. And the pinion then is going to be that pitch circle there. Let's select that. And that gives me 152.4. Now we could Try moving that now. If we do, you'll see we're actually spinning in the wrong direction. So, what I'm going to do is just reverse the direction of that. Yeah, it's just way off the end, but yeah, if you bring it back in there, you can see, and we get that nice little movement on that. So, again, you have to line up the rack and pinion. Uh, Within reason first on that, and you get that. And you see it's a nice, nice movement. Okay, so that's that. Just save that and close that, and that's that job complete. If you give this video a like, that would be really great, and a subscribe to my channel as well would be really appreciated. Thanks, and hope to see you again.